Here are a few tips on how to get the passion back in your photography. You need to stop comparing yourself to others. When you're scrolling on that Instagram feed and you're saying to yourself, oh, I'll never be, or I'm just not good enough, try to flip that on its head. Know that you have a unique vision on how you see the world. Embrace it. Trust that you can influence. You can make a difference in what you do, how you shoot. Your uniqueness is your superpower. Your uniqueness is what makes me want to watch or learn from you. So please, please get out of your own head and don't think so much about what other people think, but think about the work that it is that you intend to create. That's where it begins. So pick up that camera, compose that person, place, or thing, and embrace it. Dream, create what you are intended to create. Grab a book from one of your favorite photographers. Go back to the beginning. Why was it that you were interested in photography at all in the first place? I'm absolutely in love with the work Peter Lindbergh creates. He's been one of my all time favorite photographers. He's a lot of the reasons why I got interested in fashion photography and did a lot of fashion work. I don't do a lot of fashion work now, but it's still relevant in the work that I intend to create. He just lights the fire under me because even listening to him in interviews and seeing his demeanor and how he looked at his work is inspiring. Sit down with a cup of coffee, calm, relaxed, no phones, no noise, calm and quiet, and just simply receive the image in the way it was meant to be received. Remember why you got into photography in the first place. Believe, trust in your instincts, feel that passion that grew inside you and is now there once more. Artists are emotional people. We love to feel and make people feel. We're trying to get our point across in a way that people move or feel something. And that's how we're trying to not motivate, but that's what we're trying to say. That's our spoken word. It's our message to the world out there. And that's how we express it. Don't forget that. Don't forget that it's not about money, it's not about followers, it's not about anything else, but who you are on the inside trying to get the message out on the outside. Change it up. Get away from your first love. I personally have started building and flying FPV drones. Long story, whole different video up here if you're interested in checking it out. That'd be right, yeah, up here. I think that if you are so focused on one thing all the time, your brain can't get out of it, and then you just get burnt. Change it up by getting into something new, learning something new, drawing something new. FPV drones are still really close to photography with being, you know, having cameras there. FPV has really helped me come back to a realization that I don't know everything about uh, photography. I don't know everything about cinema. I don't know everything about, uh, you know, lighting. I don't know everything about the whole topic, 
Don't be so focused on the one way of doing something. Open yourself up and be receptive of something new. The cool thing is I get a whole different perspective of what photography is and, and video is, and it just changes things up enough to where I can come back to the roots of where I am, and that's photography. I love what Peter McKinnon said in one of his recent videos about how to crush the Instagram game or something like that. And what it was is he was saying that to make an awesome photo, you have to think about the details, getting into the nitty gritty of those images and getting a little bit more worldly in your perspective or spherical in your perspective. And it's so true. If you're so focused on the lighting, then that, that's it'll be good but that's it, the, then the lighting's good. But what about the story? What about the essence of the shot? What about whew, relaxing into the work that you're trying to create? If you watch this video, I'll run the clip. The couple of things that I did is I'm a sucker for the details. So I went hard into advertising myself and my passion for details. That's why you've seen so many product photography videos from me because I just love to do it. So maybe I should just make a separate account just for that. And, and that's what Pete's Pirate Life is. The branding, the marketing, the details, right down to the fibers of the paper, to how something's packaged, to photographing the packaging, the process of the packaging being made. It's those things that, for me, they click with me. And I think if I do my best to capture that, what clicks with me and share it with you, that you might be sitting there thinking, oh, that clicks with me too. Although it's the details in something, it's the details in the shot. It's also the details in the work ethic. One thing I've recently learned, this monitor behind me the other day was I'd be looking at it and for whatever reason, it would just start tilting, very slowly tilting. And so what I do is I adjust it and then over time it would start tilting again. What did I do? I kept pushing it back? No. That's what I would have done. Go get a screwdriver, tear the thing apart, take the screws off the back, pull the monitor off, put a wrench to it, tighten it, put the thing back on, and I'm not gonna show the process. I was thinking about showing that, but I'm not gonna show the process. Putting it back on, straightening it out, and making it work. That's the difference. That's the details. This is the type of thing that you have to do when you're doing anything creative. Humans do more than just see the things that are in front of them. They can hear the sounds, they can feel the wind, they can see the needles falling off the tree, the ripples on the water, they can feel that. So we have to remember that as photographers, we have to tell more of the story so they can feel all of those things that we normally feel. Remember the details. You have to live your life and the work that you do with passion. If you lose the passion, the fire in you will dwindle. I know, I took my passion and converted it to work, but all it really took to get that fire back was one YouTuber that changed my mind on all of it. it had nothing to do with photography, but how he was so pumped and so excited about what he wanted to create. That's what flipped the switch for me and got me back to the ultimate desire and my biggest dream is to just shoot for the heart of it. Not the followers, not the Instagram likes, not the YouTube likes, but for the passion and the right mindset and the desire to create something awesome. People will follow, people will come. It's a natural process. It's how it works, but you have to believe one in yourself that you're confident enough to be able to do it. And two, trust in your work. Believe, you know you can do it. You have the ability, you have the tools, you've watched the 50 million hours of training. Now get out there and do it. Anyway, my name is Chris Floyd. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for your time and hanging out. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you so choose.